So the Department of Marine Science is using screw piles in this area uh, as moorings uh, to, to increase the numbers here uh, to prevent people from having to anchor so much uh, and disturb the marine park and the corals. We have a total of 33 screw piles being installed over the next two and a half weeks. We're installing these moorings in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park around the Whitsunday Islands. You need a minimum footprint on the uh, seabed floor. Uh, you put a large diameter drill rig down there to drill them in, but then you're damaging any of the seagrass and that. For this application with a hydraulic drive and you've only got one footprint, so it's a simple system, but there's uh, minimal damage to any ink on the sea floor itself. We looked at the overall project and where previous uh, screw moorings had been installed and something would suit uh, drilling into sand, mud, shale. We looked uh, for a supply company that would supply what we required. And my chief engineer contacted Katana Foundation uh, where we wanted to change the top connection point, which is a plan set up, and uh, they agreed on that. And we supplied the flanges, uh, which they adapted to the screw pile. Then the design life, 70 odd years. Uh, very few design changes were made to the Katana screw pile. Uh, we've got a thicker helix, and we've added a flange to the end of the screw pile to help with the drilling and changing and using extensions. The weather is the biggest challenge, uh, so you've got to pick your, your areas. So when it's calm from the uh, southeast, that is where you get your big swells coming through. So you do all the foes moorings on there when the weather blows uh, in the protected areas. Where we've been involved in a lot of drilling uh, in different stratas, what they supplied, we thought, right, that would uh, do the application and uh, at a reasonable cost. And uh, that's why we chose Katana Foundation.